Greg Cameron here, and we're fixing to do a series and real basic on bits and hackamores. How to use them, when to use them, and when to change. Hey, this will be useful information, and I'm going to keep it simple so that you'll be able to really understand it and put it to use in your program. That's coming up, and you won't want to miss it. In our series of bits and hackamores, one of the first things that I might go to after my halter is what they call the old time side pull. What a wonderful piece of equipment. And one of my favorite things about it, very simple for the horse to understand. Why? Because it again, just goes halfway around his nose. The reins are hooked in right there at the halfway point. So again, it's a side pull. You're literally, remember with a young horse, you're gonna start out using what we call a direct rein. I'm gonna lead him to the right from his back. I'm gonna lead him to the left from his back. So this being hooked on the side, I can literally lead it right there. It's really easy for the horse to understand and you're gonna have a lot of good luck with it. It's a piece of equipment that's been around a long time and it's one of my favorite to start a young horse out with after that halter, the old time side pull. And a good side pull, look how many adjustments to go uh, behind the jaw here. I can set it up and down here. I got an adjustment to tighten it or loosen it around his nose. And in this case, I have just an old time split rein. You could use a loop rein or any type of rein you wanted, but the idea is to use it correctly. You're working on the nose, saving the mouth, Really simple for him to understand because you're using that direct rein and it's just hooked on right halfway around. That's why it's called a side pull. 